there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the EcoFlow Delta Pro Portable Power Station. In today's video, I'll give you five good reasons to love this product. Starting with its capacity, this product is huge. It has an internal capacity of 3,600 watt hours, which is more than enough power to charge and operate all of your thirsty portable devices for days on end. And the best part is, I can triple that capacity by simply plugging in two companion batteries from EcoFlow on either side of it, and I've got three times the power. So it's incredibly flexible in that I can put this in my RV, head out on the road and have plenty of power, or I can wire it into my home, add two batteries to it, it'll charge during the day, and if I lose power during a storm, this kicks into action and provides all the power I need to keep the lights on and charge my devices. Another big difference between this and a lot of other portable power stations on the market has to do with the charging. Most portable power stations, especially larger ones like this, use an external brick that does the conversion from the AC in your home to DC needed to charge the batteries, and those external bricks are wildly inefficient, so you're wasting energy as you charge your power station, but the bigger problem is they can't deliver enough power to charge those power stations quickly, so they can take hours and hours and hours to charge. So EcoFlow looked at that and said, we can build that charging circuit inside the unit, and we have more control over how that charging takes place, so we can make it wildly efficient, and what they've done is built the charging circuit that you can plug this directly into an outlet in your home and get it to 80% in about two hours. That's unheard of. Again, larger portable power stations like this typically take half a day to charge. So to get it to 80% in two hours is absolutely amazing. Another big difference with this unit versus some of the others is that a lot of the other portable power stations use a chemistry for the batteries called lithium polymer. It's a LiPo technology, and that's an older technology, and it's okay for phones or tablets or laptops, but not great for power stations for a couple of reasons. Number one, LiPo technology doesn't handle temperature very well. So if you're going to take a power station out into an environment that's hot or really cold, it doesn't handle that really well. And where are you going to use this in your RV? You're going to be in cold temperatures and warm temperatures. But the bigger problem with LiPo technology is really two things. It doesn't hold the charge for very long. So if you charge it on a Monday and you decide to use the power station on a Friday, it may only be 80% of the charge. And the other bigger issue is LiPo technology does not provide a lot of charge and recharge cycles. And you have to think about that because the batteries are internal, they're non-replaceable. So if you use a power station that's based on LiPo technology, you're only going to get a couple hundred charges out of it. And if you do the math, that's maybe a year or two. This unit uses lithium iron phosphate technology, which is one of the latest battery chemistries on the market, and it's fantastic for portable power stations. It holds a charge for a very long period of time. You could charge it on a Monday, come back a couple weeks later, you've still got a full charge. But the big difference is you're going to get thousands of recharge cycles out of those batteries, which if you do the math in your head and you get 3,000 recharge cycles, if I charge it once a day, Geez, that's like 10 years of use, so you're going to hang on to the unit for a very long time. It also handles hot and cold temperatures really well. Another big difference is the way you use that power. So EcoFlow really thought about, now that I've got this charged battery and I'm taking it out in the field, how can I distribute that power to external devices? And they've given you a plethora of connections up front. So you typically have AC connections, DC connections like in your car, and then USB connections. This unit covers all three of those. So you've got plenty of AC on the front. You can see you've got four AC outlets right there that are 120 volts and a 240 volt outlet there. You can see you've got USB connections up top and you've got DC connections as well, just like in your car. But the big difference is with the USB connections, which are probably the most common ones to use to charge your phone, your tablet, all your portable devices, there are two styles of USB, USB-A and USB-C. This unit has both of those available, but it also has on the USB-A side, quick charging or QC ports, which are sort of smart ports that look at a device that's been plugged in and it adjusts the voltage and current to quickly and safely charge that device. That's extremely unique on portable power stations. But even better, on the USB-C side, they've added PD or power delivery ports, which do the same thing for quick charging, but they're high powered ports. So both of those USB-C ports on the front can deliver 100 watts of charging power, which is absolutely amazing because that's what you need to charge your drone batteries, your laptops, your larger tablets, anything that's drinking a lot of electrons through a PD connection on USB-C, you need 100 watts. A lot of other portable power stations, maybe they'll give you 30 watts or 60 watts, and it's okay for a tablet or a phone. It's not going to work if you try to plug a laptop in or any of those, those big drone batteries, so you've got plenty of power there. Another cool thing they built in 
was a custom infinity port down here on the bottom. Now that infinity port is used for a couple of different things. You can actually charge this on the road from one of those electric car chargers by plucking into the infinity port. That infinity port is also smart and they make a smart generator that runs on gasoline that you can put outside your home that talks to this power station. So if you connect it up to the uh, actual gas generator and this gets low because you're using it, the gas generator turns on and recharges the unit until it gets back up to full. So you've got this kind of cyclic charge and discharge built in that EcoFlow, again, is a brilliant company to build all that technology into the unit. The last thing I did want to mention is the fact that on the back of the unit, you have a couple of different charging cord choices here. So if you flip this top door open, you'll see that you can plug it into the wall at home. You can also charge it from your car. You can also charge it from a solar panel. And that's one of the things that I really love about this product because if you take it out in an RV and you're parked in an RV park and you don't want to plug in either electric or maybe there's no outlets available, just bring a portable solar panel with you, set it up outside your RV, point it at the sun, drink in that sunlight, which will turn into electrons to charge those internal batteries. And again, you've got a, a very dedicated charging circuit that has an MPPT circuit built into it, which is what you need for solar panels, all of that's built into the unit. So they really give you everything you need to charge it, to discharge it, and use it when you're out in the field. And the last thing I'll mention, which again is an innovation that this product provides, is they have a display in the front that gives you every piece of information you could ever want about the current state of the product, how much current's going in when you're charging it, how much current's coming out when you're using things with it, um, how much current's left in the batteries or how much of a charge is left in the batteries. You can also control that from an application. So imagine having this in your basement and having an application upstairs when you're sitting in your comfortable chair, you can keep track of exactly what's going on with the unit. So EcoFlow is a company that's on the leading edge of the technology and they've really built a unit here that is way ahead of the competition. So hopefully you found this helpful. I love this unit. I've been using it for well over a year. I've got two batteries that go along with it. And I'm telling you, it's the best unit I've ever tested. So hopefully you found this review helpful. And again, until next time, as always, stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.